Hi guys, welcome to Safer and Travel. My name is Emmy. If you're new here, I would love for you to join the FitFam by clicking the subscribe button so we can work out and stay fit together. So today we're finally going to talk about intermittent fasting. Many of you who watch my Instagram story have been asking me why I started it, how my experience was trying it for 10 days, what I ate every day, and how's my result. So intermittent fasting has been all over the internet for quite a while already. We see all these bodybuilders, athletes, celebrities, fitness YouTubers doing it. So what is it really and why is it so popular? Basically, it doesn't change what you eat, but when you eat. It's not about cutting calories or cutting your food. It actually sets a certain period of time that you don't eat, which is the fast, and then the rest of the time you do. There are actually a lot of studies that are backed by science and evidence that intermittent fasting has a lot of proven health benefits and is safe if done correctly. And the biggest reason that gets most people started on it is fat burning and weight loss. Basically, it triggers two main hormones in our bodies which will allow us to burn more fat while keeping our muscle mass during the uninterrupted time of our fast. It also increases our metabolic rate by 3-14% to to help burn more calories. If you want to know more about the science behind, I'll link some really good videos down in the description box below where they explain the science more in depth. There are actually a few different methods to do it. For me, I chose one of the most popular and relatively easier way, which is the 16-8. Meaning I will set an 8 hours of eating window every day and then fast for 16 hours for the rest of the day. It is up to you what time you set the 8 hours to eat. Most people will skip breakfast and just eat a later lunch followed by a snack and a dinner. And that's what I did because it suits my everyday schedule the best. My 8 hours eating window is from 2 to 10 p.m. every day. There are a lot of misconceptions on skipping breakfast being unhealthy because we grow up being told that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. There is actually insufficient scientific evidence to back up the fact on whether breakfast has anything to do with health and weight loss or weight gain. And eating 5 meals a day also has nothing to do with increasing metabolic rate and fat burning. I'll also link the videos below to explain all this in more details if you're interested. Why did I start? Well, despite all the health and fitness benefits that I just talked about, at first I was actually very hesitant to try because of my eating disorder history of having bulimia before, I didn't know if I want to put restrictions on my normal diet again. But my snacking has been getting really out of hand, I was eating non-stop from morning all the way till night, and so after more research, I finally decided to give it a try to see if I can take the fat burning to the next level. So here you go, my 10 days vlog, including everything that I ate, hope it will be helpful to your own journey. Morning guys, so today is the first day. Normally at this time I would eat a huge breakfast, but today I'm just drinking a huge glass of water and I'm still feeling okay, so let's see how it goes later. I'm going to pack my lunch and my snack later. Come follow me. So there's my lunch box that I packed last night for lunch. Some veggie dumplings, tofu, more veggies, red and white rice, and this will be my snack. Pumpkin with cucumbers and cherry tomatoes. Packing them up for work. And I just got back to work. I'm starting to feel a bit hungry. I'm super tempted to eat, but I can't. Stay strong. I'm setting up for my conference call at 12, still two and a half hours until I can break my fast at 2. Normally I'm hungry all the time, I eat 5 to 6 meals a day, so I thought that I would be struggling more, but I'm actually doing okay, I'm focusing on my work, but I'm very excited to eat my food at 2. Okay, so right now it's 12.30, everyone's having lunch and I can smell their food so it's really really hard. Um, I still have one and a half hour more until I can break my fast. I'm going to reheat my lunch box now. I'm waiting for my lunch box to be reheated in the microwave right now, I'm so excited. I actually was doing okay this whole morning, but I started to get really, really, really hungry, I think at one, so one hour before, and I'm starving right now. I can't wait to eat my food. I'm so excited. My food. What's up? You're vlog. Finish all in 15 minutes. I'm not completely full yet, but I will have my snack at around 3, 4, and then I'll do my workout at around 5 30, 6 30. I'm going to have my 
snack of the day. I'm actually not hungry at all, but it was supposed to be my breakfast, but since now that I skip breakfast, so it becomes my snack, which is quite a good pre-workout meal because I'll be starting my workout in like an hour or two to make sure I have enough energy to kill my workout. It's actually a lot. I don't know if I can finish it. So it's 9 o'clock right now. It's the last hour before I'll start my fast again. For dinner, I'm having stir-fried noodles with tofu, fish cake, and a bit of red peppers. And then this is mok yi. I don't really know the English word for it. And then cabbage. My mom actually made this cold salad. It is red beans, quinoa, chickpeas, black beans, cashews with Portuguese curry sauce. <laughs> Morning guys, so it's my fasting day two and I'm so sleepy right now, I'm not that hungry. I'm doing okay. I packed my lunch and my snack. Most of it is just left over from last night. ready for my first meal of the day. I actually did my workout during lunchtime today, so I'm super hungry right now. I'm reheating my lunch. Today is the first day that I feel so hungry. Still a few hours until I can eat my first meal. I'm so hungry and my colleague made this piece of carrot cake. It's sitting on my table. I'm so hungry I can't eat it until 2. Oh my god you guys. I'm absolutely dying. It's been hardest today so far because I think it's the third day. It's like the excitement when you first try doing something and then it's wearing off. This is my lunch today, basically left over from last night. I'm ready to eat. It was so good, so I took another piece before I even finished my lunch. So good. It's so good. And I'm going to have my snack, sweet potato with cucumber, tomatoes, and this is the salad from yesterday. My dessert, a slice of watermelon and oat milk. My intermittent fasting day four and I just arrived to the office. I'll be honest, I don't feel the best right now. I didn't sleep very well last night. I'm just feeling really tired and hungry today. But I'm going to stay positive just four more hours until my first meal. And then it's the weekend tomorrow. And normally on Friday night, I won't eat home-cooked meals. I'll go out and eat with my boyfriend. So I'm very excited about that. And tomorrow is the weekend. I will continue with this intermittent fasting. But in terms of what I eat, I won't eat as healthy. I just eat whatever I feel like. So I'm very excited about that. It's almost two. I'm so hungry today. So I'm super happy to see so much food for lunch. Again, they're just left over from last night. A glass of almond milk. We're here for our second dinner. McDonald's. The McDonald's mac and cheese toasty. The chat sent me this morning during my fast. I've been thinking about it the whole day. So good. Because it's Saturday today, it's a weekend, but we have work. We're on our way to a photo shoot. It's day five of my intermittent fasting. Chad is obviously not doing it, never will. For the 
photo shoot will be until 12 today so I actually think <laughs> you won't be able to eat until my like, nana. Like, oh you you did take it yeah. you said no I changed my mind okay bye bye <laughs> I really like it. It's so pretty. So pretty. So we just finished the shooting. We're now back home and I'm filming the intro for our new workout video. So hopefully I'll be done with the filming before two. And then Chet will go buy takeaway. And then I'll get to eat my first meal while watching Bachelor in Paradise. Going to buy lunch now. Chet finally came back with the food. Steamed fish with rice. It's healthy. I'm having fish balls. What is that? Ah, uh, mm. Steam fish with rice and watching our favorite bachelor in paradise. Jamba pushing me away for the past couple of, couple of days. I don't understand how. Our favorite. Four thirty. Morning guys, so oh, you guys know that I cheated last night for the first time. I'm just feeling really gassy and like super bloated this morning when I woke up and just don't feel great. I'm actually very excited to go straight back into my intermittent fasting today. I know that it seems like I eat so much but for those of you who have been watching my Instagram story of what I eat every day would know that I normally have a huge appetite which is why my model is workout to eat and by doing intermittent fasting I could actually see a reduction in my overall appetite because my three meals of lunch, afternoon snack and dinner are all within the 8 hours period and not too many hours apart from each other. I would be quite full the whole time so I'm actually eating less than my normal diet. So I can see how it really helps people who need to lose weight because apart from the fast, they can also eat less by skipping a snack with lunch and dinner being already more than enough to keep them full during the 8 hours. So in the long term, when you get used to eating less, your stomach size would naturally reduce and hence a smaller appetite which will help with weight loss. It's day 10 today and my mornings have definitely gotten easier. Yesterday I wasn't even hungry because I was so busy at work. I think a lot of time the hunger during your fast just comes from mental boredom but your body is actually doing okay. So let's see how my last day will go. One of the reasons I love this is that it really saves time for me in the morning. Normally I would be rushing through my breakfast, stuffing food into my mouth in a hurry before heading to work. And so the fast has been very convenient. I don't have to think about what to eat or take time to eat in the morning. And that's my 10 days quick vlog of my intermittent fasting experience. Today I'm going into my 11th. I'm actually getting used to it. It's 1.30 right now. I didn't even think about food the whole morning. For me, I'm actually really glad that I tried this. It was not as hard as I thought and it did get easier after the first few days. And I did wake up feeling less bloated with a flutter belly every day. I would also much prefer this to a calorie control diet because this is actually much more effective when it comes to fat burning. Plus, I could still eat what I want during the 8 hours and I could keep my muscle mass. I personally actually think it's much easier to stick to and more sustainable in the long term. 
I hope this video is helpful to you. Comment down below if you have any other questions. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Your support means the world to me. I'll see you next week.